I'm really excited to introduce our next guest, Dr. Ellen Olshansky, who is a recent board member of Moms Orange County and also has an amazing and illustrious nursing career with UCI and USC. Welcome to our show. We're so excited to have you on. Thank you. I'm very happy to be here. It is it's so fun to be able to have like a person who is like such a wealth of knowledge about about nursing is your field. So can you give us a little bit of background about you? Yes. Um, I am a, a nurse and I also have a background in social work. I started my career many decades ago um, it, uh, wanting to be a social worker and I have a degree in social work from UC Berkeley and then I became very interested in the role of the nurse practitioner, mm -hmm. specifically the women's health nurse practitioner. So I went to nursing school at mm -hmm. the University of California, San Francisco mm -hmm. um, and loved what I was doing and continued on and continued on and got my PhD at UC San Francisco and I taught nursing at the University of Washington in Seattle and then also in Pittsburgh at Duquesne University and the University of Pittsburgh yeah. but then came out to California and I served as the founding director of the program in nursing science at the University of California Irvine, wow. um, which now is a school, um, uh, but I was there when we started the program. And then I went to USC for a unique position as the founding chair of a department of nursing that was part of the School of Social Work. So I thought this was a great way to round out my career where I started in social work and now I'm coming full circle and so I started a, a nursing department within social work. I think that's so interesting to have like a nursing department within the School of Social well, Work. Doesn't it make so much sense It though? totally does. Because nursing mm -hmm. is so much more than anyone's ever given it credit it for. Thank you. It touches yeah. every aspect of your yeah. life. So the yes. social work piece makes so much sense. And, and that it was does. exactly what was so exciting to me was working at the intersection between nursing and social work Absolutely. and focusing on social determinants of health. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, recognizing that health is so influenced by our social situation. Mm -hmm. And is that so. what drove you then to connect with moms? Absolutely. Absolutely. So tell us about that connection. So Moms is a, a nonprofit organization that has been in existence for over 20 years in Santa Ana and it serves um, pregnant and postpartum women who do not have all of the resources um, that other people have. That, that's where we're talking about social determinants of right. health. Um, so we serve under-resourced um, pregnant and postpartum women. And MOMS provides home visitation to the pregnant women all during their pregnancy and then throughout the first year of the baby's life. And mm -hmm. there's a combination of home visits as well as classes at MOMS. The, um, the MOMS and the dads uh -huh. can bring their new baby to classes at moms and these things that we have here are examples of some of the toys that the babies play with so that we can assess developmental stage and see how well the babies are doing. But the, the relationship um, to between moms and my interest in this more comprehensive view of health and social determinants of health um, is what drew me to moms. The other thing that is um, important in terms of my own association with moms is that when I was the director of the program in nursing science at UC um, Irvine, I got to know Pam Pimentel who is the CEO of moms and and Pam and I developed a partnership with the nursing program so that moms actually developed a formal relationship with the nursing program and we sent students to moms and we have one of the faculty at the um, nursing program now the School of Nursing um, Dr. Yu Ching Gao who has done some research with moms and has demonstrated some good outcomes of the program so that's also part of my association 
with moms. And when I retired from my full-time work, um, sounds like you retired and went into another full-time <laughs> job. That's exactly yeah. right. <laughs> because when you right. when you are such a wealth and treasury of information and resource and experience, everybody wants you. Oh, oh, so absolutely. congratulations. Thank you. Do you see that at, through moms that the um, it's not just the moms and dads who are responsible for the baby at this point? Right. Um, in, in fact, when, when mom started 20 years ago, it was moms that we were focused on. Right. And that makes sense. Yes, and hence the name Moms mm -hmm. of Orange County. Over the years, um, we have evolved and you know, realized, of course, that dads are so important. Uh, and so we're trying to expand to mm -hmm. be more family oriented. So that also involves multi generations. Sure. And mm -hmm. the grandparents are so important. And we know that in many families, grandparents are central. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the um, parents are working full time and are not available for the baby, and it's hard to afford childcare. Yeah. And having the grandparents is so important. So there's a huge role for grandparents. Yeah, yeah. that's amazing. Absolutely. You still have your grandparents, don't you? I do. So my um, my grandma and grandpa are both 91. And wow continue to be so influential in our lives. They're just amazing people. But um, Jeff's family, my husband's family, lives here in Orange County. Mm -hmm. And we love living close to them, and they have been and continue to be so important mm -hmm. to, our, to our family. Yeah. yeah, We'll have, like, everybody go over to Grandma's house and, mm -hmm. you know, go watch the BYU or USC yes. or whatever <laughs> game is yeah. on. They're big football people. Yeah. And uh, go swimming or whatever. Yeah. And so it, I, I totally resonate with what yes. you're saying. Yeah really takes a village more now than ever definitely. To, to raise a baby. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, I, in fact, we mm -hmm. are at the stage at Moms right now where we're doing some strategic planning and we talk about Moms 3.0, uh -huh. which is our next version of Moms. <laughs> and we're having very um, good and open discussions about, you know, what, how we can expand what we're offering and that means being more inclusive of what is this family mm -hmm. or as you say this village that's it right. is that's it right. takes a village yeah. and that's no yeah. joke yeah. so tell us more a little bit more about the offerings of moms mm -hmm. so I, I did mention that we do home visitation mm -hmm. and the home visits are done by, um, by people who are under the supervision of registered nurses and they they do the visits and they answer a lot of questions, provide education to the pregnant women, um, and also do some assessments along the way. Uh, and also, I didn't want to forget that it's not just the pregnant women, but it's the first year of life after the baby's born. So uh, ed we provide education, but we provide assessment for things such as depression, and we know that postpartum depression is a big issue, and sometimes it can even be diagnosed during the prenatal period. Mm, so that's really we, interesting. Yeah, so we look for that. Um, we also um, look for any other mental health um, issues. We look at the baby's development and also diabetes and gestational diabetes is a big issue mm -hmm. in pregnancy mm -hmm. and, and a big risk factor. So we do a lot of education around prevention of, mm -hmm. of that. Um, and we're talking about um, possibly doing some other assessments as we again into uh, grow into our next version right. of mm -hmm. moms. One of the things that we're very interested in um, in trying to prevent is opiate addiction mm -hmm. mm. and um, that's a big issue in in pregnant women and then if there are serious effects on babies so we want to mm. see if there are ways that we can do early assessment and do some intervention mm. so we're talking about a lot of different mm -hmm. things that um, moms could provide and of course you know we do this not in isolation but mm -hmm. in collaboration with the physicians and other health care providers absolutely in, in it County. sounds like what's what's really exciting to mm -hmm. me is that it's very clearly very well run yes. very well resourced mm -hmm. very well staffed you know you you uh, the care that you have for our younger mm -hmm. generation here in Jor Orange County is amazing yes. mm -hmm. so let's say that um, let's say that someone one of our 
viewers here in Laguna Woods mm -hmm. has a grandbaby that they think would be a good fit for mm -hmm. this, for like a daughter mm -hmm. and a child. And so where would, where would they go? To, to get in contact. I think the best thing would be to go directly to the website, which then will have all the information. And the website is www.momsorangecounty.org. Um, okay. Um, there are there's um, a link where it says contact. Uh -huh. There's even a form on there to fill out okay. um, if you, if you think that the child might be eligible for uh -huh. the services of moms. So I would definitely go to the website. Okay, yeah. and to be eligible, mm -hmm. it would be um, pregnant or pregnant moms or, mm -hmm. or almost moms, mm -hmm. and then when the baby is under a year, is that? Yeah, right? although there are certain um, other, you know, it, it depends on the resources uh -huh, that people have. Some other have qualifications, yes. but okay. that's where yeah. we start. Yes, yes. Okay, that sounds great. Yeah. But the other thing that I would want to add for some of the viewers here mm -hmm. is that there may be people who, because I know that the people in Laguna Woods are very vital in doing lots of, mm -hmm. are active and doing lots of things, there may be um, people who want to volunteer. Oh, oh okay. that's, a, that's another great opportunity yeah, yeah. for them. And maybe work with the, the the babies and the new moms and there may be mm -hmm. ways of doing that so another link on the website is the programs to mm -hmm. you can see what kinds of programs we have but again um, the contact link is important because if, if someone someone might have an interesting idea of oh, a okay. program that we could start and, and, and because you're developing 3.0 exactly. <laughs> <we're developing laughs> the timing is perfect right. that that's is. such great right. information right and thank you yes. so much yes. yes thank you so much for joining us and, and if somebody wants to get in touch with you directly mm -hmm. um, we're gonna have you back on the show another time to talk about women's health and the book that you've written I, but <laughs> if, uh, if we want to talk with you about this the mom's yes. program um, can we reach you through the contact form on the website as well yeah yeah okay yeah great yeah. Um, um, but th that sounds great. So. All right. Well, thank Good. you so much thank for joining you. us. Thank you very much. And thank you for all of the great work you do in our thank community. You. Thank you both. We'll be back. Bye.